Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to another Total War Pharaoh Dynasties Let's Play. The first 10 turns. Uh, this is a part of a 10 turn series. Um, almost, I think, about halfway through covering all the factions, but there are a lot to play and a lot of fun to be had. So let's learn a little bit more about Wolwetis, uh, Patriarch of the Peliset. Built to endure above all, and having come to terms with his role of, of bear of an entire people's woes and hopes, Wolwetis travails have tempered his aggressive... Uh, nature and deepened his wary size. However, this will not stop Walwetis from making hard decisions about which place to call his new home, or whether to continue roaming in search of ever greener pastures. Check out the faction summary here. Hybrid gameplay, access to war spoils, horde and settlement building, so this is kind of dope, you can do both. Horde and standard fo fo uh, forces, faction units, aggressive nomadic roster, defensive settled roster, weak nomadic range units, commands, gain benefits for and from mounted troops, train oxen carts quickly, court, gain regard for conspiring after a successful plot, transfer matchless amounts of regard to one into one court member. Okay, some of these here, these outposts unique to our uh, faction, we have these Palisette villages. Um, we then have uh, some advice here, forge your own path, so we, I'm, we're going to go ahead and do the settlement version. Um, we'll still be able to have like a horde mechanic with his army, but um, you know we'll we'll want to kind of settle in. And ultimately, he took, taking a look at where we're starting, I'm thinking we this is just going to be like right in the thick of things. So I'm almost thinking we just go to uh, Bronze Island, man. You know, if you all didn't know, this is called Bronze Island, and uh, I think this is where we should head out first. Okay, that said, let's go ahead and secure our future. While this is loading up, I just want to take a minute to say thanks, everybody, for uh, all the, I don't know, all the, the positive reception to the content I'm creating, all the comments that are being left, uh, telling me that it's helped, you know, helped you out, learning the game, enjoying the game more. It's uh, what I'm all about. So I really appreciate y'all taking the, the time to like, comment, sub. Let me know who you want to see next if I haven't covered them already. Uh, let me know if you have any questions that I can make into a tutorial or guide. Again, I'm, I'm here for y'all. But let's take a listen to this. I fear and resent the people of the sea. Such raiders have no guile or mercy. And yet, there is the Peliset, led by the mighty Walwetis, a regal figure and born to lead. Perhaps That's me. he can be reasoned with, unlike his savage peers. Rumors speak that the Peliset were driven away from their homeland. While Wetis has sworn to find them a new land to call their own, between the sea of the living and the dead. It is likely Well Wetis and his people will be drawn to the wealthy city of Megiddo. Maybe. To settle within its ancient glory. Megiddo will summon its allies for help, leaving undefended cities ripe for the taking. No doubt. Well, Wetis will seize upon this chance. His people's survival in their newfound home depends upon it. While Wetis' expansion will set him against Ramses, the god yeah. of Sinai. United by determination and strong will, the two might find common ground. Yet, if they come to blows, one must surely perish. While Wetis may also turn to realms beyond the Eastern Lake, where petty kings rule fragmented lands, wealthy with the resources he needs dearly. If he wishes to establish control over their bounties, conquest and plunder await. Bay controls the lands to the north. True to his cunning, Bay may stake swiftly against the Peliset, or perhaps reel them in with honeyed words to take advantage of their strength. Determined and strong, while Wetis wants only the best for his people, yet he will surely leave his mark upon Canaan. He has earned my respect and my fear, for he may yet become a threat to Egypt should the crown become more enticing than mere survival. 
Okay. So we already kind of went over all this. Let's, uh, you know, so the cool part is this is really open-ended to start. While we do start here, um, this is kind of like in the thick of everything, too. So I'm thinking, you know, mobbing over here to Bronze Island. That might be the best bet to start, but we won't have any food. Uh, we can kind of still use the horde mechanic and stuff, as well as really trading a lot of that bronze for um, what we need. Strong still. No one rules me. We shall not be stopped. Go ahead and just fight this out. Yeah. And let's get this unit replenishment. Let's actually get this uh steal their equipment. My capacity for mercy fades. Take a look at the ruling family. Let's see what we rolled yes. for marriage. Homely and cheerful entertainer. Yeah, these aren't too good at all, so we'll kind of just wait on that. Now let's just take More to, to the done. seas. By will or sheer determination. Anything I can do, I will. Okay. Sail away. So we'll catch on these sea lanes. And we'll probably pass across. We roll. So even though it kind of starts you off here, does not need, mean you need to so you need to start there. This tool shall roll decrease. Pass. Path to the Sea Peoples unlocks the ability to occupy settlements, so this is what we'll build up into first. And that should be some good timing. Conflict builds character. Happiness and fortitude, okay. Let's see here. Enables the single combat. Okay, so this allows me to uh duel an enemy general, potentially killing them. So this is pretty helpful. Put this point into here. Alright. Diplomacy, let's I do like to see who's like the worst strength real quick. I stand strong. I then like to see, you know, who I fight for my brothers. Suck it, for example. He's at war with uh Ramses. Typically these guys get rocks, so I'm gonna go ahead and declare Just war against give them. Give me an excuse. War is a Luca. At war with a bunch of these factions too, so I'll just uh, May the seas make you strong be at war in with them as well. And clear. I fight for my brothers. Son of Canaan. I stand strong. Okay. I will defend yeah, I will kind of unite peel out of there. At the call. I will help pull the oars. Get in it. Sea. Great lives watches over. Rough seas, calm spirit. Sail away. We row. The sea. Great lives watches over. You see how these sea lanes really just open up your travel too. Rough seas, calm spirit. Sail away. We mobbing. The sea. Great lands yep. watches over. So we'll be able to probably hit land uh, coming up one of these next turns. Um, one thing that they do have access to are these war spoils, which essentially just gives you, um, you know, what rank you are as far as like, you know, your horde or your own settlements. You can use this to find ancillaries or different um, things like, you know, prizes over here or resources. So I can check and see, okay, find closest for this one. That's gonna be this. Um, if I wanted three uncommon plus 15 per chance for one unique, you know, that's what I would go to uh, for that level five one. Um, for this, if I say I needed, uh, let's just say for gold, for example, I can then find closest here as well too. And this would be that. So kind of a neat concept. 
I think Expected one thing we might want to do. Unexpected. It's almost like take this plot over first, really. Maybe just, uh, you know, get that quest in real quick before we move. Three uncommon plus 15% chance for unique. It's pretty solid. Really cool. Oh, it looks like this is part of the quest, too. So, I'm going to just use that to create your own little kind of like micro ambitions. Okay. But let's keep the eyes on the prize here and start headed out to Bronze Island. Trust in me. Rough seas, calm spirit. Sail away. We can scroll out of the map and kind of see where these same lanes take the you. Sea. Great lives watches over. Rough seas, calm spirit. Taking a look at our pillars of civilization as well, too. Let's see what this does for us. So this actually does provide us some bonuses here. Sail away. We roll. Food okay. and rest will lighten our spirits. Okay, probably don't want to start off at that one. The sea. Sleep. I shall keep watch. Okay. And also, if we take a look Ready here, right, if we look at experience, 6,000 experience points for the general, find closest. It's going to be this one here. So that's going to be our mission to start. Okay. That should all be good there, too. Moving on. So it's like, yeah, we could have been over there. But I mean, this is just in between a bunch of things right now. Plus it's coastal, so we'll just go to the island. By will or sheer determination. Okay, and now that this is um, researched, we can go ahead Stand and now settle, me. which is going to be perfect timing. Great lives watches over. So while it may not seem... Calm spirit. Sail away. Rowing is our strength. We row. The sea. Great lives watches over. Okay. Hi. Okay. Let's go ahead and put this into upkeep cost and line of sight. World decree available. Uh, I will go for this next because we are able to build tribal outposts um, as part of these outposts here. Tired but ready. Take a look at diplomacy real quick. We so bow we are at war with Jerusalem. Fight my brothers. I we must be ruthless. We bow no more. I fight. I will unite my... Maybe I should cut off your head. All right, bro. Chill, chill. War is a way of life. Yeah, we figured that was coming. Hmm. Clever. Let's see here. Herald of Crisis. Board melee champion. 14 units. Probably want to do... Uh, 
Probably want to do this one, this Horde Melee Champion. I always listen. Conserve strength. Go and bother someone else. Yeah, so let's go ahead and Anything probably I see the building of this garrison pretty pretty strong this right now. Shall pass. Um, let's go ahead and post up here though. Check the ships. Rough seas, calm spirit. Sail away. A most endearing foolishness. Secure the vessels. So this is just kind of out of their range. No one tells me what It's gonna to give do. me a chance to go here and start Conflict builds building up. Hardship cannot last. An encamp stance. Uh, so we are out of movement to do this, though, unfortunately. By will or sheer determination. What we can do is recruit another general here. And this guy can act I as my, for my, my bait, uh, ambush bait general. What must be done we need to be very conscious world. of how we uh, utilize these guys. Okay. And do what must be done to be strong in this world. I protect my warriors. All right. I always listen. I think what we do here now, we really use this to set up an ambush. Anything I can do, I win. Try to draw these armies out. Hide as best you can. This guy can now come. Set. set into his encamp stance. Set up camp, men. Then let's do some local recruitment here. Gather all able-bodied men. I probably wanted to start building out. Prove your Fine. worth to me. Cost of fort buildings. Punishment and labor growth. Hmm. Ah, okay, we need to upgrade this to tier two. Okay. So using this guy to recruit, using this guy to ambush. This too shall pass. They're really fortifying this area though. Yeah, and I don't mind that we're getting these Quite ticks of, uh... Wealth is plentiful. Okay, we just need the surplus there. I answer the call. Okay, we'll go ahead and transfer these guys into here. Reach that location. March Keep until them in an arrival. ambush stance. I seek what cannot be found. Keep recruiting. I speak, you listen. Strong men make strong armies. No one tells me what to do. So we could possibly Life do here now fair. too. Neither am I. Keep him in in encampment stance. We go there next. More to be done. Start moving towards the target. Keep close to the ox cuts. Only strength matters. Yep. So he moved up there. Looks like. Conflict builds character. Our search continues. Okay. Prosper at all costs. I think we can kind of start catching. All right. At this point, replenishment in enemy territory. That's going to be a pretty strong pickup here too. Speak now. Especially as a horde. Yes, just so. Take a look at my diplomacy real quick. Let's see who else is kind of on their way out. Prosper at. I fight for Hati. These guys as well too. 
So you want to just check their power History ranking. You want to see if they like lose me. this, for example. I, I fight for Hati. Go on then, speak. The sound. Okay. All right, let's see if we get this ambush. Your army was spotted by the enemy before it could spring the ambush. Dang, okay. Sixty-six percent chance to kill this guy. Uh, I won't want to risk that, but let's go ahead and fight this battle here. We do have some range superiority with uh, the slinger that we have. So we just have to fight this out. You thought we weren't going to get a fight in these first 10 turns. Yeah, right. You're right. Okay. We can check here to see that these guys can hide in scrub and forest. So they're hidden now. Similarly, these guys are hidden as well, too, so we do need to fight them. We can use this water to our advantage. There's a lot of mud in here, too. We'll pull our slingers up. Get our axes in here. Of um, On our way. javelin, Move March so we just want to be mindful of that. Move but we'll use this to kind of initiate battle. Warriors march! Warriors march! I've heard they are used to dying. We'll keep these guys in here too. Once I start chucking these rocks, they'll probably be provoked to come and fight me. Speed this up. These shield bearers give no Fs. Okay, here they come. Provoked. Regular speed. Start marching. I can smell that speed already. March on work. It's gonna get hurt, but I don't mind it. On our way. Flaps. The sea unites us. I'll think of you. A lot of jazz. I didn't think they'd be able to go through this water, though. Okay, let's start pushing up here now. And these guys move around. Let's do this. Bleed them out. Gotta have these guys come and push around. It is a good spot. Face the fury. Gotta close in on this ASAP. Fight on. 
Warriors, march! Fist of Poseidon! I will break you! Move forward! Drown in blood! Travelers, away! Okay. We're invincible! Yep, nice work there. Keep pushing in on these guys. Really want to lock up these jabs. This will be a close fight. Additionally, let's go ahead and help we'll wet this out here. Get a quick back charge on these guys. Axman can come back here. <laughs> the dead one speaks. Oof, okay. Blood and battle. We just need to get a quick back charge and then need to go no ahead way. and post up. No Axman. Okay, these Major jabs are now Major. out of ammo. He drives me. So he's holding it down. Axemen. For the Palisade. Oof. Swordsmen. Just throwing those, dude. I'm done. Something's coming from. Start marching. Singers back in. March onwards. Swordsman. Oh, right here, huh? Damn. Okay, we got some more recoveries. Yep, this is good. Let's come back way. around. No one can break us. Move forward. The vultures will feast on you. Speak with your. Let me go help out these guys first. On our way. These guys are pretty good. Move forward. Push the direct shot here. Give them stones. Back charge. Should shatter these guys. Swordsmen. Okay. Now we need to pull up. Back charge here. Swordsmen. Yep, gotta help out while we're at this here. I'll strangle you. Charge in there. These guys back in. The sea unites us. Swordsmen. We're invincible. This will be your final resting place. Ha <laughs> ha! The dead one speaks. And These guys in. Warriors march. Cut and gut. It's gonna be close here. Okay. Wings guide They're winning. Let's get in here. On okay. our way. Good break there. Back charge here. Weak to survive. Talk all you want. Death is get inevitable. these guys in. How can this be happening? Move them around a little bit. Start marching. Riptide take you. Just gonna loop them around. Back charge here. Face the fury. Give us some time to recover. Yep. These guys here. Okay. I am prepared. Get in there. Nice shots there. Bubs regained. Let's get them in. 
Got to run here. Good. Good. Let's peel them around now here. Got you, brother. We're coming. We're coming. Back charge. Good attack. Good break. Let this get up in here. That's fine. They'll take some shots. Good fleas. These guys come up and around. Get a charge in here. Yep, they're gonna smoke. Keep slinging. Let's break them. Fight for glory. I stand firm. Why do you keep resisting? Your people are doomed. Good runs there. Get them in. Look to me, Palisade. Order! Order! Keep going. Clubs in. Deeps. Okay, get them in. They're gonna need to get a charge in. Ugh. To my people's faith. Not a good time. Head back. He's hurting though too. Right on over yet. My medium no armor. Deny my people a new home. All right, let's get into uh, here. The palisade, welcome <laughs> all. Unburden yourselves. Take this replenishment. Yeah. I fight for my brothers in arms and do what must be done to be strong in this world. Kind of hurt us on the stone right now, though. I always listen. Recruiting. Okay. 
great. All right, now we can go Anything to our special I recruitment. Do, I will. We can kind of just recruit these guys right into it. Okay, 12. 12, let's confirm that. Our fight is just. This is fine. We can kind of sustain this for a little bit. Hardship cannot last. Submerge these units now. Conserve strength. I'm telling you guys, don't I call it a comeback here. Okay, accept. Destination set. We'll also get this uh, retake of replenishment coming up. No shame in rest. Quite a message. Tired but ready. He will just set up into ambush. Alright, Path to Power, we won't be able to use this right now. <laughs> we won't go ahead and get into these. So, um, we could select this one. World Decree Research. Find a new home for your people, go down the path of the Sea Peoples, and discover the challenges of building a lasting society. So the Marauder is really nice if you just plan on like staying a horde and just like burning everything. But we'll go ahead and do the Path of the Sea Peoples. Okay. Gather blades and dwelling points to sail your boat across the map. Gain uh, blade points by recruiting armies and developing them. Gain dwelling points by constructing outposts or having more settlements. More hordes and tribal outposts. Uh, strengthen your herdsmen and raider identities. Stronger, more numerous horde strengths. Or so more settlements and non-tribal outposts. Strengthen your farmers, craftsmen's identities. Stronger, more numerous armies. Strengthen your herdsmen, farmers' identities. Okay. If you wish to get your bearings and reconsider your tribal identity, you can perform the... Akish <coughs> ceremony to bring your people together and provide them a new direction. Let's go ahead and select this path. It's funny this thing's like triggering while I'm uh while I'm doing some recordings. Thanks for the sub though, bro. <laughs> Thanks for the sub. Um okay. So play points. Well wet this. My will or sheer okay, determination. Let's get back into that. So yeah, we have this grid here right now. Battle loot plus 50. Melee attack for horde units plus 15. Uh, this is a good one. We're just going to go ahead and keep that. But we could essentially move, you know, from your horde, dwelling, settled, settled. So you're, you're kind of your quadrants here, right? Right now we're kind of more in the horde factor until we get settled. So getting up into here, probably more down into our our blade points, right? As opposed to our more settled. So it's kind of neat. Depending on where you want to develop, uh, you just kind of set these buffs up for your armies and different things. Um, and that's a nice way to do it. Okay. We'll keep that there. Turn 9 now. Uh, local deities. Yeah, I mean, we can't do anything about that. What I would likely do here too is take a look at who else we have for our local deities. Is a strange one. And since I will be settling, like this Levs guy, for example, is pretty nice. Right? Recruitment cost, happiness plus 8, food plus 20% for all buildings. Um, so I would probably switch to this guy. Okay. This too shall pass. Strong still. This Anything one here, I can do. what you can I do will. is use this to have a uh, change military force type from horde to army. So this is interesting. You can kind of uh, turn them into an army. Uh, I'm not quite sure how long this will last. Let's actually use it for this guy. At all costs. Turn horde to an army. This military force and general will change their type to an army, contributing to the settled blade points. Your horde buildings options will be disabled, as well as this army's horde buildings benefits. Buildings under construction will not be refunded. Your blade dwelling points will change as follows. So, this is when you start transitioning. It's kind of neat, right? You can you can really be like, you can kind of be like in the middle hybrid, where you have horde and settlements. You can go all in on the horde, or you can kind of swap all the way over to uh, settled, and that's going to affect here. I feel you know how deep you can go into these different trees here. So this is really open-ended way to play, uh, which is pretty sick. I, I gotta say, it's definitely a, a dope mechanic. I seek what cannot be found. Uh, we are building up here, which is good. In hunger and plenty. And one thing we might consider doing, honestly, 
is um, since we're going to be playing more of a settled uh, faction, we would then probably want to do like, uh, you know, this tribe category will change from poachers to pursuers. So poachers to then pursuers. Uh, so we want to keep this for right now, though. Cool. And then the last thing we want to do is no one go ahead and a new home. Uh, use this guy to get some local recruitment here. I we'll probably want to keep building up Prove into slingers. Okay. So here's the thing as well too, right? Conflict if I didn't get this ambition successful, get this horde melee champion, and get this like quick influx of Strong units, stick. like this probably would have been a GG. Be this just kind of shows like there's always like every playthrough is going to be different and that's one of the things that's, that's really cool about this game it's also one of the things that makes it difficult to make like here's the best faction uh I fight because depending on where you in head and like what you and do especially with the sea peoples like strong in this world now we're kind of we're not thriving by any means but at least I we're going to put up a fight here especially if we can pull off some of these ambushes uh so this will be kind of fun to pick up too Alright, we've made it to turn 10. At this point, I would definitely put into this replenishment for this army and battle loot plus 20% for this faction leader. We're really going to need that. I miss my chest plate. Um, <clears throat> from here now, we have gotten this royal listen. decree so that we now have Hardship a lot more replenishment. Lost. So you can see this is really coming into factor here. We'll go ahead and take Anything this guy. I do, I win. Swap these units into his army. Really going to round out our... By the sea god. Really gonna round out I answer the call. Uh, this army here. I think what we may want to do Surprise this is still, is on our this side. Is still decent replenishment. Um Speak now. I protect my warriors. So I would kinda just keep him in ambush stance. You never know in who's gonna kinda plenty. kinda kinda come in. Okay. Alright, for our next world decree, what we'd probably want to do is go for this um probably this this one here this one's gonna really allow us to start developing as soon as we take this out um you know we are running a little low on resources here um so we would have to essentially you know getting that battle loot once this army's up and online we will have to push out a little bit further but as soon as we start capping some of this bronze you know we still got a couple turns left of this once we start capping some of this bronze uh, this will also give us like food, for example, if I raise this, but I mean, go and raise that. Um, just keep that in mind for this your war spoils. Uh, it only counts if you're raising. Um, but here, you know, this will probably, this, will, this is a good, this is a fun, challenging start to this campaign. So, you know, <clears throat> you could definitely go the default and kind of start setting up here uh, as they give you. But ultimately, I think coming up here uh, just provides for a much more uh, fun challenge. And uh, I'm, you know, I, I'm feeling good. I would, I would still want to play this, um, and I think I will. So uh, catch this on a stream later on. And I uh, just want to say, uh, you know, with that being that, let's see here. Free booters, requirements, dwelling points, okay. So, yeah, this is where uh, we'll kind of conclude this video for the first 10 turns of Well Wetis. Again, just kind of wanted to show you the different ways you can go about it, whether you want to be a horde, whether you want to be set a settler, whether you want to kind of play in between some of the more like uh you know war spoils mechanic so the path of the sea people's mechanic really fun open-ended type of campaign here um and I, I really enjoy these the so cool thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the next one see ya laters